Back in 2001, the daughter of Tony Tucker spoke to the media for the first time about her doubts in the convictions of Michael Steele and Jack Wombs. The daughter of a victim in the Retterdam murders told today how she believes the men jailed for the killings could be innocent. Samantha Tucker spoke out for the first time after news that Michael Steele and Jack Wombs have made a significant breakthrough in the quest to have their convictions overturned. Pat Tate, Tony Tucker and Craig Rolfe were blasted to death with a shotgun as they sat in their Range Rover in a deserted country lane in Retterdon in December 1995. Father of two Jack Wombs and Michael Steele, 56, were arrested five months later and charged with the killings. They were jailed in January 1998 following a four-month trial at the Old Bailey. But the two have always persisted their innocence and now the Criminal Cases Review Commission has appointed an officer to probe their convictions. It could mean a court referral by Christmas and a possible appeal by April or May. Samantha, who lived in the South End area, said, I never really thought it was these men who carried out the murders, so it comes to no surprise that there could be an appeal. At the end of the day, if they are innocent, they should be set free. I believe the police will never catch the real killers of my father. Every day I think about him, and although it happened six years ago, I still really miss my dad. I could be a real daddy's girl and always looked up to him. I didn't agree with some of the things he did, but I never saw that side of him. All I saw was a loving dad. I was really proud to be his daughter. But I deplore anything to do with gangsters. It is all just bravado and a sick pathetic image. It is upsetting that all this has resurfaced again. I thought it was all dead and buried. I just wish we could be left to get on with our lives. Solicitor Richard Hill, who is acting for both Worms and Steele, said the Criminal Cases Review Commission will be taking up the case and allocating an officer within the next few weeks. We are confident this case will go to the appeal court and that Jack Worms and Michael Steele will have their convictions quashed and will be free men next year. Engineer Steele of Great Bentley has even studied law during his five years in prison and gathered 14 binders of information relating to the case. Wombs, a mechanic from Suffolk, has passed NVQ exams in woodwork and computer studies. The pair were jailed for a minimum of 15 years, later changed to 25, for the murder of Tate, 37 from Basildon, 38-year-old Tucker from Fobbin, and Rolf, 26, from Chafford 100. The prosecution case relied heavily on the evidence of supergrass Darren Nichols, who has since been given a new identity. He acted as the getaway driver, picked up Wombs and Steel at the end of a country lane minutes after the murders had been committed. He then turned supergrass. John Wombs, Jack's brother, said, This is great news. Jack and Mickey have always protested their innocence. We have been preparing for this for a long time, and we have confidence of winning any appeal. It won't be long before my brother and Mickey are free men. John, 39, who has gone to great lengths to publicise his brother's innocence, once chained himself to a bridge of the M25 in Essex, with a banner attached to him, to try and gain support. He added, Jack is extremely happy that the Commission is finally taking up the fight. Both he and Mickey have been busy in their representative prisons, learning everything from law to woodwork and computer studies. The police have got it wrong, and they want their chance to clear their names. The killers are still out there.